Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. In today's video, I will be unstuffing our cash envelopes as well as going over our expenses for the third week of September, which was last week. So let me go ahead and just get started by showing you guys my monthly spread and I'll go over the transactions. All right, here's my monthly spread. I know it looks super tiny, so I'm gonna just zoom you guys in. I just wanna give you guys a overview, but I will zoom in to make it easier to read. Our transaction slash expenses started from Monday the 13th through Sunday the 19th. On Monday, my son asked for V-Bucks. If your kids play Fortnite, you know every couple months they're asking for V-Bucks because of the new season. So that's what that was. On Tuesday, it was an all-spend day, which so far we have only four. I mean, I still have almost two more weeks, so we can still make the... Oh, you can't see it, but I have a 10 no-spend day goal. So yeah, that was no nothing for Tuesday. On Wednesday, the 15th, um, Brian bought the tickets to the tattoo convention. He bought himself and his brother a ticket. And then there was fees and, you know, taxes. And then he also went to the gas station, spent $8. Uh, there was an ice cream truck outside my house because when kids get out of school, um, there's always ice cream trucks outside. So uh, he got himself, my son got an ice cream and then he got one for my daughter. And then there was a couple of bills taken out plus our my son's braces payment. On Thursday, it was also a no-spend day, and then it was just the water that was removed that day. On Friday, um, I actually didn't pack Brian lunch. <laughs> I woke up early, and I was still up, but um, I wasn't early enough to take him lunch. I mean, to for him to take lunch, so um, he ended up getting lunch at I don't even know how to say this. I think it's a Giuliano's, which was $19. I think it's in LA. Um, and then on Saturday, we went to the park and we got um, Kona ice. It's like a van that they sell like um, shaved ice with, you know, flavors. I don't think it's very good. So that was $15. Uh, Del Taco. I bought Del Taco for myself. That was $6. And then Jack in the Box was $22. And then on Sunday, let's see if you guys could see. I'll put it over here. Okay, so um, like I said, Brian bought the tickets. So he went to the tattoo convention that day. And the tattoo plus the tip ended up being $474. It was actually a little bit less, but he got a white claw and his brother, he got his brother one too. You guys, the freaking white claws, a tall can, it was like, $15 or a little bit under $15 when I think at the store they're like four bucks which is ridiculous right but he obviously he didn't know that was how, as much as it was going to be but yeah that's how much it was and then um on his way home he picked up Raising Cane's that was $46 uh he also pumped gas which was $39 and um I got floss from Amazon that was $5 and I also bought, um, I did a couple transactions online for Target pickup. I got shampoo for my daughter because she's almost done with it. And then I got wipes and like a few toiletries for them. That was $35. And then I also got shampoo for us. And I needed some face lotion. And that was $22. So that was our transactions for the week. Okay, now we can get over to the unstuffing part. Let me go to my transaction page. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys this because I usually carry around, this is where I write all of my transactions. And then um, after I'm done for the week, I'll just transfer it here just so that it's a little bit, you know, more clear to look at. And because I carry I carry this thing in my, in my purse. Well, it's actually a backpack. I carry this thing so you know this is where I just if I have any notes or whatever it's easy for me to carry it around with me um, and yeah so that's where 
I write my transactions before I write them all here so they could just look nice for you guys. <laughs> so uh, let me go ahead and put this to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and start with my son's V-Bucks. All right, so that's kids, the kids envelope. And let me see if there's any more. So that's $8. You know what, before I continue, I'm sorry, I. Uh, if this is your first video, if you've seen them, then you kind of know already. The ones that are checked off, those were actually cash transactions. So I did ev I add everything up. All expenses was $774 for the week. And what I used my credit card for was $279. So most of it was cash because, like I said, Brian went to go get a tattoo and he did pay in cash for that. And then just other little transactions were in cash. So that's my little explanation. All right, so the first kid's transaction was $8 plus, let me see, that that one is cash. This one's cash as well. And then 35. And that's it. So it's $43. Oh, and I also forgot to mention. Oh my god. I'm forgetting everything today. Alright, let me just go to the kids envelope and then and then I'll say my my mention. Where is it? Alright, so I do remove a hundred dollars. I, I usually just have some cash at home I just, pulled out. Um, it's a hundred dollars and this right here, which is 200, one, two, three, four, five, 331. It's actually, uh, Brian sold some more equipment and a couple more tools that he didn't need anymore. So he did have $400, but he used, um, I don't know, whatever, Okay, that's $43, so that's $331, $400 minus $331. He did use $69 out of the $474, but we are going to remove a little bit more from here for the tickets. That's why um, it's here. And then whatever is left over, I'll just um, stuff it with uh, this week's paycheck. So that's what that's for. I'm sorry, I'm all... I'm all um, confusing today already. So that was $43, right? So let's see, we have 45. And we're gonna get, what was it, 43? Okay, so we're gonna get two back. So now there's 17 in kids. So after, once I count everything, it should be a total of $379. It's $279 from the money that I'm supposed to remove and then the extra hundred that um, I got for change. And then I'm I'm just not I'm not gonna count this the um the extra side money. Okay, so let me go ahead and check that off. Kids as well. And then next is we're going to go into for you for eight dollars for Brian. You guys, I haven't spent any money like me personally. I haven't spent any at all. OK, so he has this is eight dollars. That's five and that's a three. I told him I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Come next month, I'm just going to give you, because um, we budget $80 each for him and for myself, so it's $20 per week, but I'm like, I'm just going to give you the $80 <laughs> in the beginning of the month, and you can go ahead and do what you want with it, because it's hard to keep, like, you know, track of his transactions, especially with, like, his his spending money. I really don't think I should be keeping track of that, because... Technically, he could just spend it all if he wants, right? So yeah, I'm just going to end up giving him the money. The only reason I do track it is because he usually just uses his card and I have the money in here. So I kind of have to track it, right? But I just told him, you don't get the money and you can do as you please with it. 
Oh my God, I'm horrible, aren't I? Do you guys have, um, not issues, it's not an issue really, but do you guys have like little tiny disagreements sometimes with, you know, your the way you guys budget or are they just all on board? For the most part, Brian is on board. I'm not going to say he he's a bad, like bad sport, right? Like he, he's like, I trust you with our finances. I trust you, but yeah. But you know, I, I don't want to be after him. All right, tangent over. So <laughs> uh, for the tattoo, that's going to be $69. And I will take that out of the extra money. So that is 20, 40, 60, 70. And I'm going to get a dollar back. I'll just put the dollar back. So now he has two, two twenty, two forty, two sixty, sixty one, sixty two. My brain did not register very well right there at that time. Okay, so next is takeout, which there's a few transactions, so that's nineteen. Dollars plus 22 plus 6. Is that it? Yes, so it's a total of 47. How are you guys' day? How's, how was you guys' weekend? Oh my god, did I just pass it? Yep. Yeah. How was your weekend? Oh. Okay, so 45. So we're, oh yeah, actually I had put a little note there. I'm short two dollars, so we're gonna go ahead and grab that from. I'm just gonna remove my little note. We're gonna grab it from Family Fun. So let me go. I'm just gonna write like minus two, and then I'll, I'll remember to add the extra information. So that's that for takeout. Okay, so check that off, that and that. Next is miscellaneous, and that, is there extra? Yeah, so it's one transaction is $22, and then the other is five, so that's 27. Twenty. Oh, okay, so I have 20, 25, 26, 27. Oh my god, you guys, I have a, a little story time, but I'll just say it at the end for whoever wants to stay till the end to, to know how our Saturday went. It was so annoying. Okay, so next is Raising Canes, which is family fun since there's no more takeout money. I've said it in previous videos that most of the time, our family fund goes to takeout. Okay, so that's $46. So I have 60. I have to get... Wait, let me just make sure. Yeah, 14 back. Okay, so that's 10. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 14. So now it has 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Let me check that off. And then the last one is gas, which was $39. So we'll do 40 and then we'll get a dollar back. And we still have a little buffer here. It has 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And that's it for all of our transactions. So now I'm gonna go ahead and count. Let me leave this open. Why am I closing it? I'm gonna go ahead and count the money. So let me see. I'm going to start with the 20s and I am going to use my calculator. Okay, so 10, 
<laughs> I said 10. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. Okay, so now that's, this is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, plus 60, 60. You guys, I have like a really big window in my kitchen. I'm pretty sure my neighbor could see me. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to block myself one second. All right. I'm pretty sure they're like, what is that girl doing counting money on her kitchen counter? <laughs> I hope I hope they can't see me. At least not that well. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Plus 19 is a total of 379, which, yep, it adds up. Our credit card total was 279 plus the 100 that I got for change is 379 So, yay! What is it called when you balance your checkbook? We balanced our checkbook. Alright, so we're done with this. I'm just going to put this to the side. And I'll leave the money here. So we're all good with that. And I'm just going to tell you guys a little story time. It'll take like two minutes. So it'll be like two hours. <laughs> But um, on uh, we had got a um, you know, like a, a notice that they were gonna turn off the power to our, you know, the little area we live in because they were gonna do maintenance, and it said it was gonna be from eight in the morning till eleven eleven in the morning. So around nine o'clock, nine in the morning, the the power was off, and I'm like, oh crap! So it's probably gonna be from nine to twelve you guys they didn't turn the power back on until almost 11 o'clock at night we were living in medieval times <laughs> for like a whole day we ended up leaving to the park around like 5 30 just to get out of the house and when we came back we thought like oh maybe the power will be back on nope our whole neighborhood, it was pitch black. And there's, you know, there's street lights, but they're not even working either. So it was just pitch black. There was, there was kids outside, but you can't, you couldn't even see them. You had to drive really, really slowly because we didn't want to end up having to hit anybody. And, um, but yeah, we didn't have no power for the whole day. I did like, you know, our food, we didn't want it to go bad. So any dairy any cheese any like eggs stuff like that i did put into the freezer because it did stay up to temperature not really up to freezer temperature but enough to where the stuff that's supposed to be in the fridge and be at a certain temperature was fine inside the, the freezer so yeah that's my little story time have you guys ever had your power turned off for maintenance and it just takes so long it was so frustrating you know we couldn't do anything my phone was practically dead the good thing is brian has like uh batteries and he has like this little power bank that you can attach batteries to because of work he has like drills and stuff and you you need the battery attachments so we were able to charge our phones and if not i mean i was charging my phone in the car <sighs> the video that i that I um, uploaded on Saturday it was a struggle to upload but I I was determined to upload it <laughs> before I would have been like well if we have solar why don't we have power but obviously you still <laughs> you still need the the power in order for your solar to work but yeah that was our day how our day went on Saturday I mean we still we had to, we tried to look at the positive side you know it, it, they did maintenance that's the way it's going to be and i think they're going to be doing that like um to the neighboring uh streets so come next week i'm pretty sure there's going to be a whole other part of our neighborhood 
that has no power so i f i feel for them because it was it was not cool but that's gonna be the end of this video guys hopefully you guys stayed till now if you did go ahead and leave a light bulb uh, emoji so that i know you stayed this far along in my video and um but yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night see you next time bye